Hello YouTube fans, here again, bit into the light today but why not? I thought I'd talk about this one, I was talking about a lot about DC Comics and DC Comic Heroes, why not this one? That being FASA, that being Fast Order, that's right, Fast Order, back in 1980, why not, why not? It's a dudden, got to wait for that a minute, yeah it's a dudden, Fast Order, what do we know about Fast Order? But it's a dudden. Now a lot of people say that Fast Jordan's a bit sampy and cheesy and all this, but you know what? Fuck them. Because then the day, do you want to know what is cheesy? Do you want to know what is sampy? But man, but man sucks for therefore, that being Batman for therefore, you know, by Sumaco. That's sampy as fucking anything. Do you want to know what else is more sampy and more cheesy and more champy and a fucking spies? But man and fobbing. That being Batman and Robin. Them two films fucking suck and as champy as fuck. You wanna know what is the most shittiest champiest film going? And it's the same because I do love the actor. I've been just if read, may he rest. But this one does suck and I've been ranting on it. Superman 4, the test for shit. That to me is a big pile of fucking shit. This on the other hand, I like it. It's it's comic book. It's a comic book at Fencer and it's a dudden. Starts off where you've got an American football player called Fast. He's in a dead of pain and he gets abducted by his die called Doctor Strange. That's right, Doctor Strange. And when you think about it, this does have similarities to James Bond. Think about it. The die by Doctor the Strains who abducts him. Um he also played Figure on the Roof, very funny actor, very funny film, Figure on the Roof. And you might remember him being Bond's mate in um, Be Your Eyes Owner. And you also have Timothy Dalton, that's right, Bond himself, Timothy Dalton, appears in Fast. Ah! And I love it, I even love the song, sang by Queen, Freddie Mercury. It's a delight to, to hear him. I remember him when he sang in my favourite film, that being Iron Dot. And even though we never sang to it, they used the song to defend up the nerds at the end, you know, we are the tamperings. So it's a delight to hear that, you hear two songs by Queen. If you remember the dirt I mentioned in, um, let me think, do, 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 Firewalker, very attractive dirt, she's in this and all. I do love the bit where they go into the weird universe and this, the rockets moving, very comic book like, but brilliant. This film to me, this film, it's not a tampy film. It's not. It's a comic book at Fencer and it's such a damn good imagination. This film, in my eyes, has a lot of imagination. It has a lot of imagination. The bit, the music is beautiful, and the bit where the rockets going through the Stains Planet and I love the main fun in it, but my Mets Pesitas, Matt Pesita tolls, may he rest in peace, peace I meant to say, may he rest in peace, damned to that actor, you might remember him playing the peace in the original Exodist, that being Dr. Fito. Now he's brilliant in this, he's brilliant, and his daughter, oh, fuck, you know, I fancy the arse of his daughter, I remember when I was a lad, I think, I fancy the arse of her, she is so set, sir. And, um, you know, they've got Fast Dog, and you've got a lot of them. you got the Diner, he's been in a lot of films, he shouts a lot. He's an experienced actor. I always remember the scene Fast Dog is alive. <laughs> but it's a dudden, you know, it's a dudden. It's definitely got a lot of imagination, it's definitely got it all. And I love Fast Dog, and I think it is such a definitely done comic book film. I do remember the butt worms in it, where you put your hand in and they shoot that spike out and they could poison you and they could kill you because then you're raving mad. I always remember that. I remember the bit with the big monster does to eat fast or doing and he manages to outsmart it. I just risked though, like the serial comics, because as we all know, we take up serial comics like the Batmans and all that. I just risked had some more monsters in it. That's my only issue. I wish I had more monsters in it because in the, the, the serials of that era, you do see a lot of more monsters, you know, attacking fast and all this, but you don't get to see them in this. You don't get to see a lot of monsters in it. But it's still a dud, you know what I mean? As you know, I always think the bit though where he kills the main villain was a bit lame. He fires a thing in, fires a spear in him, and he fucking kills him. You know, he, he kills him. I think. Easy way to kill the villain. 
that's how I see it. It was an easy way to kill the blood in film. But I do like the film. I like the fact that when somebody gets killed and somebody gets stabbed, they get different colour of blood in it. You know what I mean? Dad make it comic and light hearted. When you see somebody get killed, yeah, you see blood. But you see pink blood, you see blue blood. You see different blood. So I like that. I just thought the way the villain got killed was a bit lame. But I do believe there was bits in it where they made it up on the spot at the end and fast and time goes, yay! That was improvised. And, you know, there's bits in it where I do say Timothy Dalton's acting was a bit dingy in this. But I do like it. I do like the fact that they're fighting over the woman who's the princess for the main villain. The bit where they say they put the butt worms on her, which I'd love to see what they were. I just like Fast Dog and I think it had a lot of imagination in it. This to me, right, even though I'm not a DC comic man, even though I'm not a Marvel fan, this is my DC comic. Fast Dog is my DC comic because it had a lot of imagination in it. I like the angels look fire, I like the main dies the angel, you know. Fast Dog is alive, I like him. I like the song by Queen, you know. Bass, ah, he's saved from the universe. Do, 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 do. I remember watching Fast a lot when I was a kid. You know, we have watched it a little there. And over the years, this is one. I, this is one I would say dated well. It just fucking pisses me off that people say, "Oh, it's Tampa. Oh, it's Teaser." <laughs> no, no, no. I just said it. I say it again. Buttman and Fobbin. Buttman sucks for effort. Fucking Superman 4, the test for shit. That's fucking tamper. This is it's a comic book. It's a comic book at Fencer. Fast saves the universe. And yeah, there was a sequel, they ended. You know, the villain gets killed. They protect the Cito. He finds that ring. He will evil laugh. Ha 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 ha. At the end, with a test of mark on the end. You know, your typical sequel, they ending. And I mean, I hate sequel, they endings in any film. I fucking hate sequel, they endings in any film. But this, on the other hand, I like it. I like it for the sequel bay ended because I would have loved to have seen. I would have loved to have seen a sequel to this. So this is one film. This is one film where I never understood why they didn't make a sequel. You know, I think at the time it kind of bombed, but as over the years it became a total classic. One by the song Eddie Mercury Queen. One for the date visceral effects. It was comic book. It had a lot of imagination. I had it all and I like it. I mean, I just think it was an imaginative, fancy sci-fi adventure film as well as a comic book film. Now, I do know they made a TV series in the later days, but never really rubbed off. And there was talk of remaking it. Don't remake it. Don't remake it. It's too late now to make a sequel, which is a damn shame in my eyes. But don't fucking remake it. Why, why fix something, right? Why fix something in my eyes what isn't fucking broken? Why do it? To me, Fast Order is a tacit. The only fault is, like I said, the bit with the arms and it sends you mad. The bit with that monster task to eat fast. I just wish there was a few more monsters that Fast Order was killing and attacking, like in the serial comics in the 1930s and 40s of Fast Order. I never really saw them, I only saw bits and bobs of them. I just wish there was a few more of them in it. And yeah, I saw the adult version and all when it came out in 1974 and I think they also did a sequel in 1990. But I just wish there was a few more monsters in it. But other than that though, that's my only fault. So the rest of it's done. I love the bit where the dad of Bane, Ross, dropped the stains and he had some arts. He says, how can you forget the sisters? The sisters was a day error of the work my life. I love it. I always thought he was a funny actor. I always liked him in Figure on the Roof. Very funny. Have you never seen that film? Damn Dud Tassic, 1971. It's a dudder. I liked him in For Your Eyes Only, you know. So I liked him in this. I thought he was brilliant. And I just liked the film. That being fast, back in 1980. It's a dudder. It's a tassic. Ten star rating for me. Into then, do more things on the way and more movies on the way. Into then, be smart. Be safe and I'll see you soon for more films on the way.